best way to get started with essential oils is to get this starter kit from Young Living. And it comes in this beautiful box with a picture of one of our lavender farms. That is the most unique thing about Young Living is that it's the only essential oils company that has a seed to seal promise. That means they're the only company that owns their farms and grows their own oils. So that's huge when it comes to quality. So it comes in these, this beautiful box with your set of 11 oils. So you lift up this cute little display case and there's one more oil underneath. Don't miss this one. So the one underneath is called Stress Away. And Stress Away has a vanilla and lime smell and it's just delicious. I use this one as a perfume. It's a great one to wear in the morning just to help with those daily annoyances and keep you calm. Um, so it really does what it says. Um, it's also great to use at night to help calm the brain down to go to sleep. So it can be a good one to diffuse at night or to place on the bottom of the big toe, which is a Vitaflex point for the brain. So very versatile oil, but a great one to smell for the fragrance and then just also for the emotional support. So the rest of these in the kit, when you get your kit, actually half of these will be white labels like this thieves right here. And that means it's a vitality oil and vitality oils can be consumed, whether a dietary supplement or used, used as a flavoring in food. So it'll be the same exact oil if you get a lemon in a white label or a lemon in a yellow label. But for FDA purposes, the colored labels are for topical and aromatic use and the white labels are for dietary use. So just so you know the difference there. Copa Eba, I use a drop daily under my tongue. I keep it in my bathroom so I can use it after I brush my teeth. It really helps support the body's response to inflammation. And we know that inflammation is the root of all disease, so we wanna keep our inflammation low, which also stress causes inflammation, so this one's helpful as well. So Copa Eba is from a resin, from a tree, which is kind of interesting, but it's also over half of the chemicals in this, over 50% is a chemical called beta caryophylline And you can Google that one and see what it's good for, but it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory chemical um, that's really just helpful to keep the body well. So very powerful oil. All of these oils are strong in certain chemicals and have less of others. So that's why they all kind of have their strengths, but there's a lot of overlap because they are so chemically complex. And when you're doing your research, you might see a chemical that you also find maybe in a chemical cleaner or a skincare product or something, but keep in mind that often those are the synthetic version and a synthetic version is very, very different than the natural version. For example, synthetic wintergreen is extremely toxic whereas natural wintergreen is safe. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the real thing and you're getting it in its natural state where it's in a chemically complex um, situation where that alone is one part of what makes it safe as well. It's not extracted all by itself. So the next one is Jijize. And Jijize is for anything digestive. So any kind of tummy troubles, anything from top to bottom digestive, Jijize is good for. So I will uh, put this on my tummy every day just to help my digestive process. Um, a story about this one that I love is uh, Gary Young did a study, I think they did it in Germany, where they sprayed a field with all kinds of chemicals. It was off the charts toxic. And then they sprayed it for three weeks with Dijais. At the end of three weeks, the soil tested organic. The Dijais had eaten all of those chemicals out of the soil. So we know there's a lot of stuff on our food that we really can't digest that's not natural. So Dijais can also help with that. So frankincense is the next one. Frankincense is a very just spiritually and emotionally grounding oil. A lot of people use it for that emotional support, uh, for supporting the brain. Um, it's also great skin support, so helping with uh, wrinkles and fine lines and anything else that you want your skin to improve the appearance with, um, old scars, things like that. So frankincense is also from a resin from the, the Boswellia tree. So another very versatile oil that most people have heard of. Lavender. Lavender is called the Swiss Army knife of oils because it's so versatile. Um, I use it mostly for skin. Um, I, if I get like a little cut or a burn, I'll put some lavender um, on my Band-Aid, put it on my, my cut or my burn. Um, my skin uh, will heal probably in about a quarter of the time. So it just really aids in that healing process. It's also a very relaxing oil. So it's um, a good one for sleep and just for calming uh, the, brine, the body and the mind down. But again, it's good for lots of things. So often people will just start with lavender when they don't know where else to start, no matter what they're working on. So lemon. Lemon is a great one for helping the body detoxify. So it's a good one to add to your water. Um, it's a good one, actually it just smells great. So it's a great one to breathe in as well. 
Um, but it also will help those fat cells to release toxins. So a lot of people use it as part of their weight management um, trio of oils, which is lemon, peppermint, and grapefruit. So um, lemon will also um, help get sticky stuff off. <laughs> so if you have a label that's left some sticky residue, if you have goop and gunk on your hands, um, like I was working on my car and got some black grease on my hands, so I used the lemon so I didn't have to use a chemical cleaner on my hands, um, which was great. It's a high in a chemical called delimiting. You can research that one and what it's good for. So also good for any kind of food flavoring where you need a lemon flavor. Panaway. Panaway had a, the letter I in it originally, but now to be FDA compliant, it's called Panaway. It's a great support for before or after a workout. Um, it's just a great support when you have um, those muscles, tendons, ligaments, anything that sort of has a little discomfort and needs some support. So it's a good one to... Um, dilute because it's an expensive oil blend and then also it helps to spread it around when you're working on a larger area. The reason it has a childproof cap is because it does have some wintergreen in it and again like I said the synthetic wintergreen is considered very toxic. Natural wintergreen is safe but again you don't want to drink your bottles of oil. You want to use them a drop at a time as they were intended. Peppermint. I love the smell of peppermint. I use this one a lot when I'm working and need to focus, when I'm driving long distances and want to stay awake and alert. Um, it just has an incredible smell. It's just, oh, it's, it, it tastes really good too. <laughs> so it's great for adding to like hot chocolate or to brownies or anything that you want that peppermint flavor. Um, it's great for a little head discomfort. You can put it on, it might feel a little icy hot, so I wouldn't put it on kids or on sensitive skin, um, but put it on your temples, put a little on your thumb, press it to the roof of your mouth. So it also really helps clean out the sinuses. So if you're feeling a little stuffy, it's a good one to breathe or to, um, to consume because it will clear that right out. Purification. This one helps with anything stinky. So it's a good one to put an, in stinky shoes, to put in your diffuser, to clean smells out of the air in your home, to put in your washer, to clean stinky laundry. Um, it's just known as sort of a purifier. Um, it's also what I keep on hand because it's great for bee stings and any kind of bug bites and stings like that. It just somehow neutralizes that sting immediately. It's amazing how well it works. So that's another um, great use for it. RC. Consider RC to be respiratory care. So anything respiratory, whether it's seasonal, whether it's something that comes and goes, um, it can really support um, just great breathing. So I use this a lot of days, especially if I wake up feeling a little congested. Um, and then the last one is Thieves, and I credit Thieves for the reason that it's been over two years since I've caught a cold. Um, anytime I'm feeling like my body's just really working a little extra hard, I use Thieves to boost my immune system. So I, the, the story with Thieves, though, is really fun. There's a couple different legends, so it could have been either the 15th century or the 17th century, but it was during a plague, and all the people were dying, and so there were spice traders, and they were robbing the dead bodies, and they weren't catching the plague. And they finally caught them, and they said, how are you doing this? Why aren't you dying, too? And they said, we're using our spices to protect us. So this is a really spicy blend. It smells amazing. It's great for diffusing in your home, just cleaning the air and anything that you've picked up while you've been out and about. Um, there's an entire line of Thieves products because it's so powerful. Thieves cleaner, Thieves mouthwash, Thieves toothpaste, Thieves laundry detergent, Thieves dental floss, Thieves um, dishwasher detergent. I can't even name. There's a huge line of Thieves products because these um, essential oils are so effective in cleaning um, that they just are in all of these wonderful products that I use as well. So these are the oils to get you started and I hope you can see that they would be a very valuable part of your everyday life.